Hi there again guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then my name is Claire and we play around with all things makeup on this channel. If you're visiting why not hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and really help me out um, to help my channel grow. So it has been quite a while since I sat and filmed a video. Um, I started a new job and life just got in the way and you, you guys know how it is. So um, it's coming to the end of um, the Taurus star sign um so i thought i would film a look on that because that was my plan to do that every single month to do a star sign look and my little boys are taurus so i couldn't miss this one could i um so far we would have a little bit of a chatty get ready with me and we would talk about taurus so i'm gonna throw some clips in my hair and we're gonna get into this video um i have my coffee ready right here as i do and my eyebrows have been done off camera as they always are because it takes me so long to get them symmetrical, although I am quite proud of them today because I think they do look very, very similar and I've not been able to get them this similar in a long time. Botox would probably help with that though. Uh, so, shove these clips in my hair and I actually managed to get to the hairdressers as well in April, which was an absolute bonus. Okay, so I'm going to use my P. Louise base in 05 and we're going to talk about Taurus. So, Taurus is an earth sign. Oh, this is this, this making this noise. Um, Taurus is an earth sign which is represented by the bull so I thought we were going like lots of browns and gold but I also thought we would maybe try and incorporate a little bit of green into it as well and um, to represent the earth um, because when you do think Taurus you do think like bull-headed and stubborn and um, like browns and things which is a lot of the looks I've looked at but then um, some of them have managed to incorporate the green into the look so who knows where we're going to go with this you know me I just go for it and then think about the consequences afterwards so it does say on google that obviously taurus is a bull and uh, it's the earth sign and it says like a lot of celestri celestial celestial signs or spirit animals i should say like serene environments believe it or not you know you would think bull you would think bull headed they'd just be like headlong in there all the time but no, they enjoy serene environments. Who knew? Um, what do I mean, does my son like a serene environment? Can't think. Um, yeah, he does like, he like, he's a bit of a homebody. He does like to just kind of like stay at home. Um, if that's your Taurus that's in your life, let me know in the comments down below. So they enjoy relaxing. They enjoy relaxing sounds, soothing aromas. Sounds like they want a spa, doesn't it? That'd be nice. And they like succulent flavours, which does actually sound like my son because he is a proper, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice went man. he is a proper fooder. I mean, he loves his food. Um, he's, I mean, what is it, what do he like succulent flavours? He likes juicy things. Um, but he is a proper, proper fooder. He never ever stops, unless this is, you know, because he's a growing boy. Um, but he never, ever, ever stops eating at all, ever. Um, I've put a white top on today, and I don't know whether this was a mistake. So I'm just going to soften that out slightly there, and then kind of soften that up, because I want a really, really, like, severe, um, like, bull-style look today. Um, so I'm going to go for lots of bronzes and things as well. So Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is an enchanting planet that governs love, beauty and money. Um, now, my son does like money. He spends it before he's got it. Um, if he knows he's gonna get some spends, he's already like doing well at school or something, you know, if he, he spellings every week, if he does well, he gets he gets a treat. Um, he's already spent it in his head before he's even got it. Is that your Taurus? Or is that just all kids these days? Because I feel like that is just a trait for a lot of kids these days. That they've just spent things in their heads before they've even got them. Definitely my son. So, the palette I'm going to use today is, I'm going to use this Iconic London Day to Slay palette. That was a bit shiny there, isn't it? Sorry. Um, I got this in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. And I've not used it yet. Believe it or not, I've not used it yet. Um, but I thought it would be absolutely ideal to use today so it's still got the plastic on it um so that is the palette there i mean god just perfect for this look but i've also got this like loose 
green shadow um, to try and incorporate some green into the look. Don't know, I don't know how I'm going to go with it yet, but who, who knows, you know me, I just come up with these ideas and then bullheaded right into it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with this deep soul here um, and kind of set a base for um, like a really severe look, but I think I'm going to put some tape on as well because I want it really high. Um, looking around for my tape, it's literally in front of me. So, Taurus, 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 Taurus. So, Tauruses, like the bull that represents them, are known to be intelligent, dependable, hardworking, dedicated, and stubborn. So, that, that definitely. See, that I don't think that describes my son because I wouldn't say he was hardworking. Um, maybe he will be when he grows up, but when it comes to school or anything like that, he is a laser. He's a lazy bones and I have to moan and moan at bitch him to get any homework or schoolwork or anything like that done. So I wouldn't say he was hard working. He's hard working if he likes it, uh, if it's anything to do with motorbikes or golf or anything that he's interested in, then yeah, he's there all day long. If it's something that he's not interested in, then no. You're winning, you're, winning, you're fighting a losing battle. So Tauruses are considered to be an anchor for the Zodiac. So, you know, the, the, the dependable creature. Um, like I say, my little boy's only seven, so I wouldn't know if he was a dependable creature by now. But he is a very, very loving, he's such a loving, loving soul. Such a good, kind boy. Don't get me wrong, he's no angel. But whose child is. Um, but he, he is a loving, loving little lad. Really, really, like, feels everything if you know what I mean. So bulls love their stability and find comfort in consistency, which is definitely, definitely my son all day long. You know, he he definitely is, he, he likes a routine, um, not in a bad way or anything like that. He just, he likes his routine. If he's doing something different, it has to be something that he wants to do. Um, something that's fun to him you know if it was something that me and his dad wanted to do or needed to do you know if I said oh come on son let's let's go and do a little bit of shopping and we'll go and get some food he'd be like nah it's not happening more but if I said come on let's go to the dirt bike track and we'll take your motorbike with us it'd be whew, right there um so yeah he definitely is a homebody and he definitely likes his routine and doesn't like to come out of that routine unless it's something that he wants to do 100% on that one that is definitely my son I think I'm going to bring this right into the corner here. It does say that anything or anybody that kind of endangers the bull's serenity or anything like that will be facing a, a you know a bit of a, 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 a stubborn bull. Let's get this nice and even. I am working trying to work on my symmetry but I do have so un, such uneven eyes. So people that are born under the Taurus sign value on a step more than anything else which is a very very good trait to have i i feel really really do you know if you if you're not honest with them they'll they'll never forgive you according to google so it does say like their animal representatives they don't shy away from hard work oh like i say that's that's up for debate because my son does not work hard at all really really doesn't that also says that tauruses are so hard working that if you had them kind of in your class or part of your project, then you know, you're onto a winner. They're, they're gonna be hard working for you. Um, I may take a thinner brush to do this because that is just not working. Uh, it does say that coupled with their ambition and mental tenacity makes the Taurus a force to be reckoned with. Now, I would say my son is a force to be reckoned with. He is a whirlwind. He's an absolute whirlwind. This could just could be our kids. It could just be our boys. But he is he is very bullheaded. Definitely. 100% is he bullheaded. This is just not blending at all. So, it isn't all hard work for Tauruses. No, 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 no. Because they are ruled by Venus, which is a pleasure sign, um, they do like, you know, they like to be cosy, they like to be pampered, they like luxury. That is my son down to a T, absolutely. Um, they, you know, he does enjoy the finer things in life. He likes to go out and um, be 
don't be pampered so much but be spoiled he definitely likes to be spoiled he's appreciative of it though that's the difference he does um really appreciate the fact that you know he can be spoiled at times not all the time he's an only child i don't want him to have you know only child syndrome where he just thinks that the world owes him a favor that would oh god that would be my nightmare that my child thinks the world owes him a favor but yeah they do they love cold but don't we all don't we all like a little bit of cozy creature comforts every now and again who doesn't you know it sounds like tauruses just want to live the best life they want to work hard and they want to reap the rewards of it which is nice cozy life so there are, they are some of the, the positive traits of the taurus of the bull you know if you if you know a taurus and he, they he i'm just saying he because my son's a he you know Taur tauruses can be ladies too um if they have any of those positive traits then let me know in the comments down below so the negative traits funnily enough bullheaded stubborn you know who knew um so they can be viewed as being like very set in their ways which again i would say my son is he likes what he likes and that's kind of it so the, you know the, the stubbornness of the bull makes this a quality that you know the resistance to change Again, my son down to a T. My son is completely resistant to change. Completely. He hates any type of change. You know, he dreads um, going up a year at school, every school holiday at the moment. And we say, you know, you're on holiday soon, son, because they're on holiday again in June. We have more holidays than soft milk. He always goes, uh, Does this one, is this when I go into year three? And it is like he's panicking about it. And I was saying, no, mate, it's, you know, it's September when you go into year three. Don't worry. But it is like he's panicking about it. I don't know why. Maybe part of it is to do with lockdown as well. Because obviously he missed pretty much all of year one. And he's missed a lot of year two as well. Um, obviously from January until March. And for a stubborn bull setting their ways... Not a good vibe for them, is it really? <laughs> so, funnily enough, there's not a lot of Tauruses that are found in Authorita. Funnily enough, you know, you would think that there would a lot be a lot of leaders that are Taurus. Tourists? Tauruses. I'm sure there's a lot of leaders that are Taurists. Um, but there's not. They are not often found in Authorita. I think their trait is to kind of challenge Authorita rather than be at the forefront um if you are enjoying the star sign looks um i know they're quite elaborate um you know they could be used for costume parties if you wanted to go a couple of steps further and add more accessories and things on to them um but let me know in the comments down below you know do you like them do you like hearing about um the star signs you know i do like these chatty videos have me coffee have a chat with you guys so yeah the Tauruses do just kind of challenge our authority if they think that you're wrong if they think you're wasting their time I mean, we can all be like if you think you wait someone's wasting the time though can't we really i know i would be um so yeah if they think we're being time wasters if they think that you're just wrong um they will they will challenge you so you know that one kid in class that's always like no sir no miss my mum said, oh, you need to do it like this. Probably my son. Um, they're probably a Taurus. Not going to lie. Uh, number negative, if they aren't careful, they can take their pleasure-seeking too far. Now, that that is not elaborate, elaborated on. It is just a statement. I don't know what is meant by that. My son can get a little bit giddy and a bit carried away sometimes. But I wouldn't say he's taking pleasure-seeking too far. He's only seven. So it does say that their hedonistic tendencies can lead to outright laziness and procrastination. So, you know, are they hardworking or are they lazy? It sounds like they can be both because they do like the finer things in life, like all of us. So I feel like I'm right on top here. I'm just going to be back a little bit. Sorry, I've been giving you those close-up shots but it does say on the other end of the spectrum that bulls can be complete perfectionists um not my son at all he's not a perfectionist he's a messy git which he totally gets from me i'm so messy if you saw my workstation now um it, it's just it's yeah 
not gonna lie, it's shit everywhere. So it does say, I mean it does sound like the tourists have got a little bit of double standards because it does say that if something or someone is not up to their standards then they'll just walk away but then they can be lazy. Double standards Taurus, much? So it does say flaws and all, a relationship with a Taurus is almost always a good thing. So are you in a relationship with a Taurus? Is it a good thing? I hope so because you're in a relationship with this Taurus. I hope you wouldn't stay in a relationship it wasn't a good thing because that's not good for anybody. Just on a deeper note, don't stay in a bad relationship. I am loving this gold, I'm absolutely loving it, it's gone down so well. Um, I'm just gonna, in fact I'm gonna put a little bit more on here because I feel like that's not quite as even as it needs to be. So Tauruses are ruled by Venus, as I've already said, um, and that is their dominant planet. So this, you know, the passionate, the loving, the caring, all good traits to have with someone in a relationship. So they don't shy away from romance, no, 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 they don't shy away from it. However, because of their perfectionist nature, they don't run into relationships either because they like things to be perfect and things to be just right. You know, they they want to love their partners, they want their partners to be spectacular. Um, for want of a better term, they want the relationship to be spectacular, the relationship to be perfect. So, um, is that a good or a bad trait in a relationship? I don't know. Um, at least they're not going to settle. Nobody should settle, and at least, just to, you know, at least they're not going to settle for anybody that's not right for them. But, nothing's perfect and nobody's ever perfect, so... So, if you are dating a Taurus, seeing a Taurus, what, whatever the kids are calling relationships these days, um, you know, if they take the time, it's it's because they want to get it right. Once you are in that serious relationship with them, they are with you for the long haul, they are, they are genuine, they have loyalty, um, and they've got a genuine and loving nature, so, you know, it's, they are all fabulous fabulous traits in a relationship do my eyes look even now i feel like they look more even than they did before like that's all i talk about in these videos how even my eyes are so platonic relationships with taurus so it does say that the Tor taurians are the hufflepuffs of the zodiac sign as friends they are trustworthy and dependable which is what you want in a friend isn't it so taurus is as a platonic friend who doesn't want a reliable and trustworthy friend? That, you know, that some people can be so false these days, they're in short, short supply. As someone that has suffered from like false friendships, um, people that just kind of want to get what they can out of you or are a little bit two-faced and will call you behind your back, um, you know, a true friend is hard to find. So if your Taurus is your true friend, then keep hold of them because some of them are few and far between. So it also says that, you know, that they're, they're an honest friend, you know, they're never gonna lie to you about what your clothes look like or any, so, you know, they can be brutally honest, so don't take this the wrong way. Um, I can be brutally honest sometimes and can be taken the wrong way. Um, but get yourself a Taurus friend. They're loyal, they're honest, and they're there for you. What more could you need? Professionally, Tauruses are hardworking, reliable, and very trustworthy. So if you have a Taurus on your team, keep them. Give them that responsibility. If this is correct, I'm only going off what Google says. And my son, who is he was very trustworthy. He's very, he's, you know, he, he's it's true. He's brutally honest sometimes, like to the point of foul. So, a Taurus, a Taurus at work. They ha, they ha, they ha, they are sharp, focused, patient, reliable, and very thorough. So it ha sounds to me like, even though it says they wouldn't be a boss that they will you know they will make good bosses because you need patient and reliable reliability in um a boss as well as a an, an employee or a co-worker or anybody like that you know patience in a boss is such a good trait um, a lot of bosses are not patient they want everything now 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 um don't work like that does it um so taurus will address anything with sharp focus and determination if they've got a project they're going to see it through to the absolute end so if you've got a taurus and you need a project completed um however downfall it is said according to the internet 
that this intense focus that a Taurus has, this just intense concentration that they have, um, can make it quite difficult for them to complete more than one task at a given time. Um, is this true? I know that my son can really only focus on one thing at once. But again, is that a boy thing? And I'm not trying to be derogatory towards boys here. Whenever I say whenever I say that to people, they go, oh, it's a boy thing. Oh, boys are like that. Um, you know, they, they do flirt from one thing to another, which is totally him. He flits and flirts from one thing to the next. You, you know, we'll be like, can we play this game? You'll get it out, you'll set it up, and then he's lost interest. He wants to play the next thing then. Um, so, you know, I can actually see that being true, that the, a Taurus cannot focus or fully focus on more than one thing at once. If this is true, let me know in the comments down below. I'm saying all these things about Tauruses and I'm comparing it to, to my lad, um, but is it true? Is it true in the adult world? My boy is seven, so I could be completely out of whack. So generally speaking, the Taurus will work diligently. They'll be a trustworthy and loyal employee. Um, part of this is down to the fact that they like making money. Um, my son like making money. I'm sure he would when he's older. He likes spending it and all that. So I hope he likes making it because I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be paying for everything forever. Um, but yes, he does like spending money. Um, so a trait of the Taurus is they like they like to make money. So. Tauruses like making money. Who doesn't? Um, it's it's a good it's a good trait to a point. I'm feeling. Um, I wouldn't want to, my child's whole life to revolve around money. Um, that you know that's that's not a good look for anybody, is it really? Um, so why do Tauruses like making money? Well, to pay for their lifestyle, to pay for the finer things in life, to pay for the things that they like. Um, it doesn't say anywhere that Tauruses are notoriously successful um, or anything like that. Um, I've not checked out the famous Taurus people yet, so who knows. Um, but to me, it sounds like they, you know, they, w they would be. They would strive for perfection and greatness in anything that they, they do. Um, because they like making money, but because they also like that that perfection, they like to have seen things through to to that goal. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense? So it does say that Tauruses can sometimes be quite um, possessive um, just because they like the finer things in life and they like loyalty. They can be quite possessive of people, of um, possessions, of a project. Um, is this true of your Taurus? Because I don't think that my son is possessive in any way. Um, maybe a little bit with his dad because they are like best friends. I'm really going to town on this bronzer. Is is this true of of your Taurus? Are they really, really possessive? You know, because to me that is a negative trait. It's not something that you want to be, um, you know, as a child, you know, if you were possessive with toys and things like that, are you selfish? It does say you tend to be possessive of all things that you class as a necessity to you. So, what is a necessity, really? It does also say on Google that a Taurus can be quite jealous. Um, he, is my son jealous? I don't think he is. I think he wants what other people have got, but I think if he doesn't get that, it's not the end of his world. Um, I wouldn't say he was a jealous a jealous kid or a peevish kid, um, but again, I don't know how that is with adults because I don't think I know any Taurus adults. But yeah, my son is very frivolous, he's the ultimate consumer and he does want what everybody else has got, um, but I wouldn't say he was jealous in the... In, the literal sense of the term, if you know what I mean. So it does say that the the jealousy is kind of more um, down to relationships and acquiring wealth to make their lifestyles better. So it all comes down to the you know 
enjoying the finer things in life enjoying the luxury of life really doesn't it so famous tauruses believe it or not our queen queen elizabeth is a taurus um you know who who knew well i didn't i had to google it um but yeah she is a she's a taurus um jessica lang andy mcdowell is also a taurus a lot of taurus women jack nicholson he is also a taurus you know he's a successful actor he's an oscar winner does he like the finer things in life maybe don't know you tell me let me know in the comments down below, down below if anyone's like a massive jack nichols fan and they know if he really does like the finer things in life oh, kelly clarkson is also a famous taurus um i mean i am a fan of her music but i don't like particularly follow her if that makes sense um but i do feel like she you know she's quite a determined determined woman so it looks like i've just drawn Something really rude on the end of my nose. <laughs> Renny Zellweger. Zellweger. Also a Taurus. Another famous Taurus. Al Pacino. So guys, this is the finished look. Have I managed to channel Taurus? I think I have. Um, I mean, you could go a little bit more elaborate. You could um, maybe draw some like maybe horns or put some lines on the nose to make it a bit more bullish um if you were really really going proper fantasy costume um but yes i think with just the eyes and the contour and everything i have managed to channel taurus um we've got greens we've got gold we've got browns um it is an earth sign so yeah um i will link all the products that i used down below did i like my iconic palette um yeah it was okay i'm glad i didn't pay full price for it um it was it was okay i'd be disappointed if i'd paid full price for it and i didn't get it in advent calendar put it that way um but so you know you win some you lose some i will keep using it uh, and see if i feel any different about it at some point probably wouldn't gravitate towards buying iconic eyeshadows game just based on this palette i'd probably look at a lot more reviews and things like that um it was it was okay the brown didn't blend well the gold was lovely uh, some of the nudes just didn't show even though i'm my pale skin uh, they just didn't just you know um usually nudes of that color i would get get some kind of payoff and I, I didn't really um i didn't use a whole host of colors but i used a few so um i will keep working with it i will keep giving it a go so uh that is the end of the video guys i will link all the products that i use down below or i'll list all the products that i use down below um but i'm kind of loving this um, I hope you're enjoying this series, I hope you're enjoying um, learning about the star signs, you know, what what traits, what good traits and bad traits that you might have, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye!